why is it important to even study the, uh, the aging brain? We might be able to offer some help to, uh, to individuals uh, when they're in their 40s and 50s and say, you know what, if you would just do these things, you would probably not get Alzheimer's disease, or you may become 80 years old and still be very sharp. What we're trying to do uh, is actually slow the progress of the disease. In fact, slow the onset to the point where people actually never get the disease. And so our hope is that over the ne next 10 to 15 years, that the number of people who get diagnosed with Alzheimer's is actually gonna shrink. Can we figure out what it's doing or things that we can do to slow it down or stop it? And that maybe those are the types of things that we can do with older people in combination with therapies or different types of therapies that might really help them um, not progress as quickly with their disease or maybe if you start earlier it could help prevent some people from getting those diseases at all. I really just um, wanted to be involved in research and every time I visit Ohio State um, that I got more and more excited about it just because there's so many opportunities here. The size of this university is, is a great resource because we end up having a significant number of, of other scientists, colleagues, that we can turn to. Being part of this type of research and knowing that you're making a little tiny contribution to a bigger body of knowledge that can advance um, the, the way we deal with these diseases is, is a great thing. 